Hey, this is Dan the Blog from theblogmusic.net and today we in Tel Aviv Volume, the official convention for electronic music. I'm with Lost and Found, Guy Mantu, Guy J, and Sarah Z. Z. Alright? How are you guys? Very good, very excited to be here. Yeah? Yes. Tell us about Lost and Found. How you created the group? How you started it? It's uh, my label, Lost and Found. It was a sub label of Bedrock. Just now uh, became independent. And the guy and I announced themselves with uh, uh, their friends and their great producers and they signed, uh, they took part in the first release on the label. They hopefully they went to do an album and they agreed. You know, it's a small label, but I don't have the app to it. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, the, I mean, they are great artists and we are good friends. So we play, you know, to, we start to do a round of together. And, uh, yeah, it's you started a small group in Israel? Now we beyond that, like Germany and everything. I think it's like becoming really uh, lost and found. You know? yeah. I think first of all, like the music of lost and found doesn't have any borders. It's really yeah. worldwide. worldwide. And, and we are trying you now uh, to do like a love and night lost and found showcase label. Tomorrow night, like, right? It's like, yeah, we're going to do it tomorrow night uh, the cat and dog in Tel Aviv. What's the, what's the, the main things in this Boston town in the 90s is that we have all three playing together. So normally, like if you book guys, he's playing his own uh, show. And then, like if you, do, if you book uh, anyone individual, individual uh, one of us, we're playing our own show. But when we are three together, we play like back to back. Like sometimes I play the beginning, and then the guy is taking the middle, and Manzo is taking the end. And sometimes we're doing like, you know, Back to back all night, and then uh, uh, what's the great thing here that we know such a good friend for one each other, like perfect. When, when you started to work, uh, when you started to work, for me it would like like really long, long story. I'd say 30 years ago. No, yeah, like 10 years ago? Uh, 11. 11. 11. 11. 11 years ago, and, 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 and I'm doing music with guys since 2000. Um, I think it was like, uh, 2008, and uh, Guy and Guy, uh, 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 I think they were also uh, since the last few years. Yeah, yeah. Together. it feels like uh, tens of years. Yeah. Uh, if the friends don't know who you are, tell us about your style of music. What you created in the past years? What, what, uh, what did you bring to the table, to the dance? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that really if people don't know like the guy who made music for a long time, like really the, a lot of people who love music for a while, who have been listening on bedrock for a long time. Uh, we also uh, released uh, some nature labels, yeah, yeah. released it together, some, some labels. And then I, I, I like, uh, I don't like to call it like. Find it by main genre, you know, you can say like techno progressive, but, but the whole vibe of the music, I can say it's, it's really it's like hypnotic, emotional, still yet groovy, and this is the vibe. I, I like so if someone comes to you and say, Guy, what are you playing? Say, what are you music? Yeah, it's like great electronic music. Yeah, for sure, it's electronic like music. But I don't like to call it like as a genre, you know, because the genre is something that all the time it's confusing and it's changing, you know. The reason I'm asking because you know what I was telling today with the EDM, you know the main word is EDM. Yes. Okay. Now, now in the world we're using that, you know, in Israel, we are using the techno, the minimal, the tech out, the, the house itself. Yeah. It doesn't, you know, to use it like 17 years old, goes and do that. That's the basic. Yeah, that's right. It does. Okay, from the start, it goes to the top right away. Without doing the work itself, the basic work. Well, it becomes stars and then you know, like, yeah. uh, like, like most of the big names did. You know? yeah. Like Armin, like the Esther? No, no, no. The Esther were, were, like, were there. This guy were there. Esther was about like, like techno, like back in the day. I'm talking about like, 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 like a DJ. Like a DJ, right? Okay. This guy is just uh, released one track, two track. And Afro Jack. Afro Jack also, you know Afro Jack? Yeah. YouTube and Facebook and yeah, all the media, they know exactly what 
exactly how to use it. And the mechanic is like, also this guy is Zed. Zed, yeah. Like Zed. Zed. Excellent. Yeah, you know, like, or, you know, even the, uh, what's the skill? Skill. 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 Like nobody knew me the best thing. In one year, boom, superstar. It's like in one thing it disappeared and then one, another thing came out. Yeah. Yeah. He came out, I don't know about disappearing. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. he would stay there, I think, for a yeah. long yeah. I also for lost the town too. <laughs> Become popular in Israel. We want you to hear you like more. Like Israel, the kids come and say, yeah, lost the town, just please to meet you. Like every day I see 16 or 15 years old say, Hardwell, yeah, it's coming Christmas with a new track. I want to see you like Guy J coming up with uh, and Guy Manso and so on and uh, coming up with a new track. I want to hear this. I think the problem uh, when I see in the... Especially when you travel. Yeah. What are you doing now? I could help you to see this. You will interview with Mr. Tom, not to interview with our... It won't go to the arcade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's good that you're giving them place, places to like less mainstream commercial yeah. I wanted to say that uh, the problem I see here, uh, but one of the problems is that people are very extreme, you know? Yeah. If they love uh, hardware, they will stay only in this genre. They cannot love hardware and uh, jump deep at the same time. Yes, you know? yes, yeah. like two hours, it will stay. But I think it's like that in uh, anything. If people are in you know, their politics mind or the food they want to eat or where they want to live, it's very extreme. I think people should be more... The problem is people are not uh, open-minded enough to... even to love two genres of music, you know? When someone asks me what music I love besides of uh, Western or whatever, I say good music. There is no genre that I love only, you know? Your thoughts on it. I think people are very stuck in it. It doesn't have to be extreme. Yeah. You know, I go to play in a... We heard before uh, that uh, the gay crowd is stuck in the New York house to play uh, music. And I got to play in Canada at the uh, Black and Blue Festival, which is only gay. I grew up in Canada. Okay, so I played uh, last year and it's amazing to see my music uh, with a crowd that, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a different crowd that uh, is open minded. So, you know, so I wish that people were more open minded and then everything is possible. That's cool, that's cool, that's fine by us. That's defined by this Israeli uh, world, yeah? Let's talk about the convention for a second, the main topic was the sound of Tel Aviv. Your thoughts on two or three words? What are your main topics for them? Yeah, I think, I think it's a good cause. It's like I said, it's, uh, again, it's a really shame that uh, Tel Aviv is known as an amazing place for nightlife, and it's a shame to see like, I thought it's going people to be, from the industry, yeah. just music lovers, you know. It doesn't yeah, work. But today they bring the top names. They bring it. But they need, you know, the, the extreme thing to be more successful. And they don't what have do you mean? What do you mean? They bring like Artwell and Army and Tiesto and names like that. Why they wouldn't do like Lost and Found, like I don't know, Guy J, why do Guy Mansu, like in big names, in a big waves, why do they do it? Why do they but there is no, I mean, there is no, yeah, because there is not enough crowd for it. I mean, I they see your face, it. fan page in Facebook, you got 60,000 people yeah. like, this is awesome, this is huge. Yeah. And most of them are not Israel, right? Like 10,000 from Israel. This is what I wanted to say, like, before when I uh, talk about it, that I'm playing to, uh, tomorrow, uh, that I'm playing in Israel and uh, an uh, other person that was in the panel said, yeah, but when you play it's full. But yeah, it's because this, this is the club I go. If yeah. uh, we decide to do Lost and Found... The name, and they go after it. Because Just they go for the club, you know. The club, because the club is good. Yeah, yeah but if we, it's not that yeah. I go and go to play in Ireland, in some bar, it will be busy because the, there's a crowd there that follow the music. They not only follow the club, yeah. you know. So yeah. this is the thing that... Uh, the, Boundaries that need to be. We hope so, we hope so. Yeah. So, so, guy, yeah, anyway, thank you very much. Congrats on the show tomorrow. Thank you. And, uh,
this guy. <laughs> well, we'll come. We will be there to review it. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Music.net. See you there.